Hello folks, and we're here with a review on the very first Mag Madagascar, which came out in 2005. <laughs> wow. And, and, you know, back in the day watching this, I enjoyed it for what it was at that time. I still enjoy it now a bit. I did, la I did, I was surprised I laughed still at some of the stuff, like, with a lot of slapstick in this movie with the uh, Air, uh, the uh, Alex character, the lion, uh, Ben Stiller's character. Um, pretty much, I can sort of see why the Penguins got their own spinoff, uh, you know, series. Um, but yeah, this movie is basically a group of animals who have spent all their lives in a New York zoo. Pretty much, they end up in the jungles of Madagascar and must adjust to living in the wild. So, but yes, yeah, basically four best friends who are animals. They they're pretty famous at their zoo, and they're pretty much the famous attraction of the zoo. Um. Uh, yeah, Ben Stiller plays the lion character Alex. Uh, Chris Rock plays Marty the zebra. Ross Geller <laughs> plays, you know. Melman, the, the, uh, yeah, the Z, the, uh, Z, um, Zebra. Or not the Z, not the Zebra, the, uh, or the Giraffe, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chris Rock plays the Zebra, and Ross Geller, uh, Melman is the giraffe. <laughs> I don't know why I blanked on that. Jada Pinklet plays Gloria the Hippo. Um, Cedric the Entertainer? Oh, he was Maurice. I, I thought I recognized that voice, but I wasn't sure who that was. I thought it was the guy from uh, Big Mama's House, Curtis Cool. <laughs> from the third one. I thought that was him voicing him, but no. Um... But yeah, pretty much these four, they at their zoo, and pretty much they're the main attractions there. And Marty dreams of going into the wild. He wants to dream big and wants to escape, go there for a while. The others aren't down with that. But then Marty ends up going, taking, you know, going into train station, trying to, I guess, get a, a train, get a train ride. So then the others break out of their zoo to go get him, and they all get tranquilized pretty much and get ship, shipped off to wherever. I'm guessing they were supposed to go to the wild, I guess. Or, to, no, they were supposed to go to Africa, I, I think. But, like, the, the, the uh, penguins, their whole thing in this movie, they wanted to go to Antarctica, <laughs> and they go they get there, but then there, there's a scene where they... We pan. We go back to them, and uh, they end up. They're they're at Ar Arctica, and they they're just, they're just standing around. They're like all bored and like, well, this was a waste or whatever. I can't remember the, the dialogue. I I think that was it. This is a waste or something or this is point. This was pointless, and then it cuts back to the other four, you know, arguing or trying to adjust to. Uh, on this island, but, uh, yeah, I liked the slapstick with the, uh, Alex character, he's, he takes the most abuse in this movie, believe it or not, like, there's a scene where he's, they're running, because they think there's people in the distance, so they go running after them, and, um, Alex is way in the back, and he gets hit with multiple sticks, or, uh, I forget what those things are in the desert, those pointy, uh, things, I can't remember what they're, they're plants, but they're, they have, like, these pointy things, he steps on poison ivy at one point, and falls down a water fall, um, so yeah, there's, the animation's good in this, the acting's fine, uh, I did laugh a bit at, at Melman, um, David Swimmer's character where he 
he wants he decides to uh, dig his own grave literally in the on the on shore and he uh I forget the dialogue what he said but like and he writes that like, obituary down on in the sand and then it gets watered or washed away a little bit and then Gloria or no Alex is like see Marty see what you did you made Mel Melman build his own grave or dig his own grave <laughs> um. I did like some of the conflict with Alex and Marty where pretty much Alex hasn't been, he hasn't ate steak because he's used to eating steak. Apparently, like, this zoo that they stay at, they they cater to those animals, like, <laughs> royalty to where they literally, they either give them massages or they blow dry their, uh, Alex's hair. I'm like, wow. <laughs> and, um. They do other stuff for them, and but yeah, like pretty much when they get to the island, Alex is mad that they're there because of Marty, and he blames him pretty much, and then they argue, and um, and then pretty much throughout the movie, they meet these lemur cats, I believe they're called. They use little tiny squirrel-like animals, sort of like Zazu from that PBS Kids uh, TV show. If anybody even remembers that. I forget the two brothers that were on that show, but I remember it like yesterday. Um, but yeah, this was written by four people and directed by two people, which is surprising because of how decent it was. And this was a hit, apparently. Um, which I can sort of see the first one being in uh, interesting. The second one where we pretty much, you know... Alex finds his family, and then they develop on that, and everybody pretty much finds their own animal kinds and or species and stuff like that. And I haven't seen the third one. I don't, I don't know why I thought there was three uh, sequels, but no, there's only two of them. Because then there's Escape to Africa, and then Madagascar 3 at Europe's Most Wanted. I didn't see that one. Um, but yeah, pretty much it's them trying to adjust to this island, and Alex at first doesn't want to, but then he, him and Marty start having fun, and um, stuff gets complicated to where the uh, little squirrel-like people, or th uh, animals, they think they're freaks they call them freaks to the, the entire movie because they're like well because they see because these these little squirrel like lemur cat things i guess they they're pretty much prey to like these other lion looking cat uh animals so they think alex pretty much is like their what their secret weapon pretty much so they're like we must keep them close to them and then we will we will be safe <laughs> Um, but yeah, pretty much Alex, he, he hasn't eaten in a while, so he's starting to see steak throughout the movie and tries to attack his friends, and I did like that scene where Marty tries to talk him down and where he goes to visit him to get, get him because they think the ship came back for him, so he goes back to talk to him, and then I didn't understand the whole, I, I guess he, I guess he overcame the, the hunger, because <laughs> like the whole... I'm a monster or whatever, and then the uh, when Marty's getting attacked or whatever, and the others come to help him, and then they get attacked, and then Alex comes in to save the day, and then he pretty much pretends to attack them, but only to like start fighting off the other cat, uh, lion things, and uh, or cat animals, and then at the end, it's just them they celebrate. Uh, and I'm leaving, and Alex is in the fish, I guess, or salmon. So, then, and then I did like the final uh, line with the penguins, where they're like, because they're uh, Alex and the others, they get on the ship to uh, sail off, and like I guess I guess they're they they think it's about to go off, go sailing, but like one of the penguins is like, uh, Sarah, shouldn't we tell them that the uh, boat is out of gas? 
And then the I guess the uh, main penguin, he's like, I forget what what he says, but he says something about though no sometime soon or something or just smile and wave boys i don't know i thought that was funny but yeah it ends pretty much with them going i guess back to new york i don't know how they're gonna what the zoo's just gonna take them back i guess even though they escaped the first time but okay and then they were shipped off to so and so so i understand that but But yeah, they pretty much get back and then it ends with pretty much the, the song Move It, Move It, which is pretty much the theme song of this franchise, if you ask me. Or at least the first movie. I don't know if it's in the others. It probably is in the second one, but I can't remember if these, uh, those little lemur cat or squirrel things are in the sequels. I think, I think they are. At least, I I think at least the first, the, the main one and the, his assistant or whoever, Maurice. Um, but yeah, Madagascar, I would say it's a, it still holds up to me. It, the acting's good. Uh, the comedy's good in spots. Most of the time anyway for me. Um, in terms, I don't know if I'll review the sequels anytime soon, maybe. Um, if anybody does want my thoughts on them, let me know but uh yeah i did like this one i still do so yeah